My family is full of engineers. Any kind of engineer you want to ever meet, you'll meet them in my family. It wasn't something that I had started out thinking, oh, I'm going to be an engineer. Um, I would hope that now women will look at other women who are in the profession and be inspired to go into engineering. I ended up actually in highway infrastructure and I worked with the Ministry of Transportation. I really, really loved my career. I was lucky enough to be able to have another great opportunity of working on the 407 ETR. It's a once in a lifetime type of infrastructure project. And then from that, of course, things always change. And I was thinking, you know, what should I do? Do I continue in engineering or do I do something different that still I can use my engineering background because I, I truly believe once you're an engineer, you're always an engineer. And so I managed to transition my career from uh, engineering into uh, the organizational behavior field. She makes a tremendously positive uh, impression as an individual and also as a professional engineer. She is extremely charismatic and engaging. She has such a passion for her profession and for her community as well. I'm really fortunate. I'm able to draw upon two fabulous careers, and I love helping people, which is why I do so much uh, in terms of the community and volunteer work. Um, and to me, uh, this is just, just an extension of that, and it's my livelihood. I happen to be very lucky to work in a, in a field that I absolutely love, but I really like helping people fundamentally, and that's what gets me out of bed in the morning. One of the um, most meaningful pieces of work that I've been able to do actually is with uh, an agency of the Department of National Defence, uh, Defence Research and Development Canada during the Afghanistan war. When the Canadian Forces was going through a major transformation, they were moving from a peacekeeping mission to more of a combat mission in Afghanistan. And so their areas of focus, their research focus had to change. And so helping the organization through that cultural change and even an organizational restructuring. It was extremely meaningful work. Indirectly, I, I felt that I was helping the Canadian Forces in their mission. I've had the opportunity of working on boards and for organizations that deal with the most vulnerable in society. And as they say, a measure of society is how we treat the most vulnerable. And so for me, it's been, it, it's been providing that voice for those who can't. Surrey Place is a very special place. It provides specialized clinical services for people with autism and developmental disabilities. It is the largest provider of autism services in the Toronto area, serving over about 7,000 clients every year. I would say this is probably the best board that I've ever worked with. They're very sophisticated, they're very knowledgeable, they're very committed, and Helen uh, exemplifies that each and every meeting. Helen is an individual that looks for those challenges that she can tackle, the problems that she can solve. Um, it, I think that goes, speaks to her engineering passion. I kind of joke that I like to go about my business quietly and my friends all know I'm not quiet at all, but I really like to not be in the limelight. I don't see it about, as, a, as an award about me, but an award about the, the causes that I've had the, the privilege of, of serving and, and making, trying to make a contribution.